So in this tutorial, I am building upon my last um, audio streaming tutorial with Swift. Um, in the last one, we had an array of uh, songs, or audio files, that were on a web server uh, that can be played in this app. Now, uh, the way it was done previously, the way I showed you in my last one, this is static. You know, to update this, I would actually have to physically go in here and type in um, something new. Uh, and then uh, if a client was using this, they'd have to wait till it got on the App Store or somehow I distributed it before they would get um, this. So this way, uh, the way I'm going to show you now, it's more dynamic. You do not need to recode this at all to change the list of songs in here. Um, and you do this all remotely. So I have on a web server a text file um, called listofsongs.txt. And this is the, the songs I want to make available to this app. And I could change it when I add new songs and it will dynamically uh, appear in the app when it's loaded. Um, so uh, let me just show you a couple quick things. So I have this little function here that gets called in the view will appear um, method. You know, the view will appear method gets called every time you open the app. And so that's helpful. And so what I do is I reset the array, initialize it to so that it's empty. And then I make this call, um, call file from web method. And if we take a look at that, that um, has the address of my txt file, my text file. And I use a simple HTTP get to, um, and uh, I should say, I have a method called HTTP get that uses a simple URL sessions. Um, object to download, uh, to parse that text file, if you will. And what I, we do is we look at each line in the text file, and then line by line we um, grab the values uh, out of there, and we add them to the um, list of songs. So we add them to the list of songs array right here um, for every line in the um, text file, I'm grabbing the name of the song and uh, appending it to the list of songs array. And uh, we do that by, we use a delimiter, and in this case it's just a colon. Like again, if I show you here, you see how there's a, a number and then a colon and the name of the song. So we're just interested in the name of the song being saved to the array. And then this right here is what I use to just kind of display the first three to our view. Um, and then because that's all we show are three at a time in this particular app, right? And that's it. The, um, the This actual method right here, dispatchq.main.async, is real important. If you didn't use this, uh, you would know, you would be frustrated. You'd notice that the view was not updating. Um, this allows you to update the view, uh, which is really handy. So as soon as the file is parsed, we can show them to the screen. Um, and just so you see, when we uh, bring up the app, the original list of songs will show temporarily, then it just changed, you know, gave us. So tada and frank.mp3, if you look at the uh, original list, um, they were not in there. Number they replaced these two, right? So it works perfectly. And if I um, went into my text file and uh, you know say I added a new song to the list and so instead of tada I want it to be let snow.mp3 which is a, a file I happen to have on the server I save that and then um, I can close out of the app bring it back up and we should see that as the second song listed There it is. Perfect. Uh, that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, so the there will be a link in the description to the uh, original 
tutorial if you're interested in seeing how we got to this part. And then I have the link to all the code for this uh, section as well. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions.